A dust storm with strong wind swept across the eastern desert region of Ruwaisht, disrupting traffic and forcing a suspension of classes on Monday. Local authorities advised people to remain indoors. Ruwaisht Governor Mustafa al Abadi told the Jordan news agency, Petra, that coordination was underway with local police on traffic on the highway to Al Karama border post with Iraq. He urged motorists to caution as the region was swept by winds of up to 70 km an hour. Abadi said schools in the northeastern district shifted to remote learning for the safety of students and teachers. One of the most active volcanoes on the planet became active and threw out a column of ash 15 kilometers high twice a day. Aviation security code red has been declared in the region. The eruption is reported to be accompanied by a powerful ash plume that rose to a height of 16 kilometers, 10 miles. The eruption was given the highest color hazard code for aviation, red. In total, over the past day, Eight eruptive episodes occurred on the volcano with emissions of gas and ash to a height of 6 to 16 kilometers, 3.7 to 10 miles.
A landslide from a hillside occurred yesterday in the vicinity of Lake Molveno, in the province of Trento, in the Trentino Alto Adige region, Italy. A portion of the mountain about 60 meters high, 25 meters wide and 15 meters deep collapsed. No casualties or injuries were reported. The area has been closed to traffic. Landslides caused by heavy rains killed at least 29 people in the state of Pernambuco in northeast Brazil on Saturday, authorities said. In Alagoas, another state in the region, two people died when they were swept away in river flooding on Friday. More than 1,000 people have been forced to leave their homes because of the flooding in Pernambuco, civil defense officials said. The executive secretary of the civil defense agency in Pernambuco, Lieutenant Colonel Leonardo Rodriguez, said in a video posted on Instagram that about 32,000 families live in areas at risk of landslides or flooding in the state. Schools in the city of Recife have been opened to receive the homeless. In Alagoas, the state government said 33 municipalities have declared an emergency due to the effects of the heavy rains in the past several days. President Jair Bolsonaro said on Twitter that teams from the Ministry of Regional Development and the Armed Forces will be sent to the state and also to Alagoas for relief and humanitarian assistance. Novamente estamos sofrendo com a cheia. Não descansamos de uma e veio outra até pior, aqui em Cajueiro. Olha o nível da água novamente. O nível da água aqui na Vila da Paz, Cajueiro. Chegou novamente no telhado. Estamos sofrendo ilhado. Caminhão quebrou, porra. O canal transbordou. Aqui é um rio só, tudo rio. Caralho, velho. Tudo rio, tudo rio.